But there's a long tradition of these types of uh, uh, voices of conscience. Um, so I just immersed myself in the world of St. Sabina and, and spent time with Father Mike and, and his peacekeepers and the community there and tried to learn as much as I could. We love you on Windy City Live. Yes, we do. Tell us, how did all this happen? How did this come about? Well, I play me. I play Val Warner in Chirac, which is really cool. So when people see this movie, they are literally seeing Val, and I am a reporter in the movie. We talk about the violence, but what can we do personally? I think we got to be engaged, and I think engaged in a number of things in our block, in our home, in our neighborhood. We got to be engaged. We got to fight the issues. We got to fight a government that is abandoned. You know, whole communities on the south and the west side. Um, we got to fight a governor who's cut out every youth employment program, who's cut out violence prevention programs, who's abandoned um, our communities and the poor and the vulnerable. And I think we've got to reach out to our brothers on the street and love them and respect them and help them, not just demonize them. My participation is only because of Mr. Spike Lee, our leader, our director, and uh, he reached out to me and blessed me with the opportunity to be in this film and said that his mission was to save lives in the south side of Chicago. I'll, I'll, I'll just say, like, first of all, the history of coming to Chicago and telling my jokes as a young cat, I'm 37 now, I started about almost 15 years ago. Elroy taking me under the wing, let me do some jokes here and there for the radio stations and all that kind of stuff. More than that, we are more than that. We're greater than that, and I feel like in places like this, or Chicago, or whatever you want to call it, the hood, whatever you want to call it, like it's too much attention dwelled on the negative. I learned that no matter what you do and how much of a genuine heart you have, and if you're coming from a good place, people are going to criticize if they don't agree with what you're doing. Hi, we're from Empire, and you're watching. you been standing here? Not too long, like an hour. So this, we're moving in fast. This is a good sign. Yo, what's up? It's your man Tony Schofield from 106.3 Chicago's R&B, and you are watching Men on Higher Learning. Now, I used to hang around with some men that was into some higher learning. It just wasn't that kind of higher learning, but I got myself together now, okay? What is it that you do in your quiet time, in your meditation time, that allows you to bring us the films that you do? I sit courtside in the Mass Square Garden, world's most famous arena. show today. I know we all have those youth in our family who exhale and they exhale to do bigger and better things in life. And it's such a good thing when you know young people like that and uh, it's really, really going somewhere. So don't go too far for your seat and stay tuned because we're going to go live in a minute and talk to y'all. <laughs> well, firstly, previously at my mom's previous job, I've always played tag with a couple of my friends. And so whenever we played tag, I would either be the one who never got caught or I would be the one who would always catch everyone. So my friends have always told me that I've been really fast. And when I went to middle school, my gym teacher, he actually encouraged me to join track. And so ever since then, I've enjoyed running. And it's been really that's inspiring, I'm sure for a lot of our youth in the city, you know, 
hopefully that will inspire some of them. That was really great. I really recommend it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Is there anyone basically you consider as a role model and to get you active into sports? Um, well, my father, he actually did track and he also did cross country. I know my older siblings have also done track and cross country. They've actually been pretty good at it. Uh, a couple of my friends are very, actually, really inspiring to me. They work hard, they make an effort to eat right, exercise regularly. And one of my friends, actually, her, um, our coach is her dad. And he's actually a really good coach. He's very inspiring. He makes sure that we are included in the track team. So that's what really helps me. Well, there are actually some very good runners. I'm not the best. But uh, it is a challenge. Yes, it is a challenge with running, especially if you're competitive. I am. But I also understand that you're not going to always be the best in something that you go into. You have to work hard for what you want and you have to work hard for those results that you want to see. Well, track, the exercises can be strenuous. We have days where we are more intense with the exercise and we have days where we pull down. So for instance, when we're off going to state, we'll do a few hard workouts. But when it's coming close to the time that we're leaving, we usually cool down. We don't do anything that's really strenuous for like our shins. We get shin splints pretty regularly in our track team. And we take ice baths. So it can be really strenuous and really painful. But you just have to listen to the coach, listen to their recommendations, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Uh, a cool down is usually workouts that are used to help your muscles relax. So if you do an intense workout, usually they'll try and do something afterwards, like a few lunges, a few stretches that help your muscles to relax and get rid of the lactic acid in your knees and joints everywhere. And also sometimes we go into, we have a medical room at our school actually that people participate in. And so we go into there and we take ice baths and we can get bandages and ice and everything that we need. say they're proud of me. Actually a lot of my friends comment on it. They're really proud of me. They encourage me. So it's really nice to have that support system. I also have my family and my extended family and friends. They're very supportive. My mom's always posting things on Facebook you might see. And so they always take the time to comment and like and it really helps me. It really gives me that push so that I continue to do what I need to do, work harder. Yes, I'm actually involved in the National Honor Society at my high school, and I'm also a part of a affiliate group connected to Semi Grandma Road Sorority Incorporated. We have different bases actually. We have one here in Chicago, Milwaukee, around the nation, and actually internationally. It's a really good group for young girls, where they inspire you to be leaders, and to grow, and have these skills that when you get into a job or you get into a high position, that you can actually handle yourself and you know certain specific things. I'm hoping to see myself in a technological university. I'd like to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering and hopefully in 10 years I'll be probably way through my education or even done with it because I want to obtain a master's or even a PhD. Biomedical engineering is a field of engineering where they focus on improving basically human life and quality but also using technology. So an example of this I find absolutely very interesting, very cool. So there's these things where they're practicing taking hearts from pigs and they're stripping them of these stem cells and these cells that connect them to the pig, but they basically make a ghost heart. So if you use it for a transplant, that it doesn't get rejected, it has a very low rejection rate for somebody who does get it. So the body doesn't reject it, and they don't go anything that might be able to fatally kill. Yes, I actually do push quite a lot of my friends to excel and go after goals that they don't really think they could achieve. Uh, I think it's very important that you see that in yourself, that you can see that you can do better than you actually 
are, that you see that you can achieve things that you think that you can't. I make a very, I make an effort to push my friends to do things that they want to do or try to achieve. What it do, it's your boy Big Snoop D O Double G Chicago, and you're watching the Higher Learning Network. Is Monday morning a struggle to get out of bed, into the swing of things? Well, don't worry, you are not alone. Join us for thought-provoking, stimulating, and mindful conversations on Higher Learning with Zelda Speaks for your Monday morning mindfulness session on Blog Talk Radio, The Female Solution, Mondays, 7.30 until 9 a.m. Be sure and send your ideas, thoughts, comments, and suggestions. Experience mindfulness moments with the mindfulness slash Stress Relief Coach, Zelda Speaks. And thanks for sharing the Mindfulness Moment Tip of the Day. Stay on purpose, stay empowered, and stay tuned to your next session of Mindfulness on Higher Learning with Zelda Speaks. Make it a mindful day. And thanks for listening. Hi, my name is Julie Myrista. I'm with the American Heart Association. And we have been up to our ears in sweetened beverage tax, so I so much appreciated the five minute meditation today that allowed me to get back to my center, take a few deep breaths, and really focus on what's important. Shalom and good God morning. And thank you for joining me today on blogtalkradio.com, The Female Solution. It's your Monday morning mindfulness with Zelda Speaks. Mindfulness Stress Release Coach. I'm just here to make your day better. I am here at the West Side Ministry Coalition and I just experienced the meditation with Zelda and I am amazed. I was came here a little bit overwhelmed, but now after that medica- meditation, I tell you I'm feeling calm, I'm feeling happy, and I just want to say thank you so very much for that that little bit of 15 to 20 minutes of meditation. It works, and thank you so very much. They are there. Get SROs back. When you give to the poor. Should not be forced out of their neighborhoods when it goes through a period of transformation.
because there are too many people who are losing their homes to taxes because they can't pay a thousand dollar tax bill. go over to gates to practice some other kids that loosen our hips. Denise, how do you feel about going to the, uh, I understand you went to the Junior yes. Olympics. Uh, North Carolina, was that a great feeling? Yes, it was. I never actually thought I could get to such a high place in track where I could go to the Junior Olympics. But with team support and also all of our combined dedication, we made it, we performed, we did well. And it was a good experience too for me because I've never actually ran at such an event that was as big in scale as it was. So that helps to prepare me for when our team, our high school team, goes to state. Uh, I actually have my own side business where I bake cookies and decorate them for people. I also do art on the side, so I have commissions where people ask me to draw something, I draw it for them. It usually has some rules to it that we can work out and make sure everything doesn't collapse and it turns out right. But those are the two main things I usually do, art and baking cookies. Oh, right. Well, that's good. Well, that's going to help them see if parents appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> and for those who don't know, this is a sample of what she done for us at the Higher Learning Network here. And she put the higher HLN TV for us, so we appreciate that. So thank you, Zalee, yes. for this. And I'm, my wife ain't getting on. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> and we truly appreciate you coming out here yes, today. Thank you. And uh, any support you need from us, let us know at the Higher Learning Network. Thank we you. Got you. And for you at home, why don't you, hey, let your kids take a look. I'm sure you got some kids in your family that are very academic and not maybe in what she does, but whatever they do, support them. And hey, never know come back to help you all one day <laughs> so hey thanks for tuning in so stay on purpose stay in power and stay tuned to your next higher learning network show
And uh, we'll see you in six Wednesdays at one on the Higher Learning Network with who other than Snoop Dogg. And you better get your education on because ain't nothing like education. The more you know, the more you go. Understand that. Because if you knew better, you do better. I wouldn't be nothing without education. So remember this, higher learning, get you some education. All right, now. Thank you very much. My name is Heather Stuhler, owner of the company Help Me Finish, and newly developed business billionaire breakthrough system. I want to talk today about my friend Zelda Robinson, who has created this mindful breakthrough system, which is absolutely phenomenal. And you want to know what I learned from it? I learned that I can stop the negative patterns in my life through one simple word stop and I think about that all the time every time I see a red light I remember to stop every time I see a stop sign I remember to stop so even when I'm having a bad day and I can see a stop sign it'll remind me of what Zelda taught me so if you guys haven't taken her program you need to sign up for her program because we all need to stop the negative voices in our head and she's got the tools to help you do it I'm Heather Schooler owner of Help Me Finish and I hope you guys sign up and when you sign up have a fantastic day every day because that's what Zelda's going to teach you to do.
in which we're doing this documentary for Douglas Robinson, your death will not be in vain. And I love Doug. Doug loved me. Just being around him, he had a good spirit. He was a healing person. They are there. Get SROs back. When you give to the poor. Should not be forced out of their neighborhoods when it goes through a period of transformation. Thank you. 